Hey, what's up guys? So you're gonna see me doing some short videos. Um, well, when I say short, I mean maybe they're not two seconds. Maybe they're gonna be a minute long, maybe they're gonna be eight, 10 minutes long, I don't know. But we got trapping season coming up really, really fast here, you guys. Um, I would say, well, in about three weeks, actually, it, it uh, starts here in Minnesota, the part where I'm at in the northern area. Anyway, I'm over at this pond right now, and I just, I know that there's muskrats that live in this pond. I never really see huts on it, so I know that they're bank dens. So I'm just going to show you how to identify a muskrat bank den. Um, they always, they don't all look exactly like this, but they're always a hole. Um, maybe they're right against the bank under the water. Maybe they're 20 feet out under the water. You just never know. But this one here is a dead giveaway on what you should look for for a muskrat or for a bank den for a muskrat. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> These look like they could be starts of bank dens, possibly. You know, weeds are missing right there. There's some sand kicked out. They might be starting a hole right here. But then over here, you look. There's a rock there. See that hole right there? That's not the giveaway. But I can tell you the run run the run goes up underneath there. As we scan out, look at that. That right there, you guys, is a absolute 110 million percent dead giveaway. <clears throat> that is a extremely highly used muskrat run. And that all that that like stirred up mud there is just from the muskrats using it in and out you know it just doesn't totally settle before they they come in and out again but the den start or the run starts out there so by the time ice season rolls around there'll be three or four inches of ice on there a guy could easily set three or four 110 conibears bears in this run right here <clears throat> you know and take rats you might take one rat you might take 20 rats depending on how many you want to take out of your area maybe they're a nuisance maybe you're trapping for a township or a golf course or whatever this particular lake I'm on right here um, they they do have cattle and stuff along this side of the lake so these muskrats can come up here <clears throat> put a hole in the shoreline up there you know where their den collapses cows horses whatever break a leg bad bad stuff that's the biggest complaint I, I ever see with muskrats is the fact that uh, horses and stuff fall into their runs and break their legs all the time. So that's a dead giveaway right there. Here's another one here. I would say that they're just starting possibly. Now, by the way, you guys might not know this, but the the uh, water level on this pond is down so far. I'm stand like right where I'm standing is water. Like on a normal year, all these way like up past these rocks here water 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 you can see right here there's a muskrat den um this one isn't you know being used quite as much anymore it's really wide it almost looked like something else was living there at some point but then right up here whoops i'll get that out of your way right up there under the log is the hole that's going up underneath there um i'm actually going to move down here further and look there's well actually looks like a raccoon trail here you can kind of see right on the side of this rock there's a trail that goes through the grass here and it continues on right along the water's edge you know um here's an old here's an old muskrat den look at this this one plain as day used to be a muskrat den anyways um Got the water coming up here, and there's a den hole. Um, I was here a few months ago, and the water was up to that rock, and this was all yellow, you know, and uh, being used quite a bit. You can see, looks like mu yeah, muskrat tracks are right there, actually. Um, so, I mean, they might probably even be coming up in here messing around with this still. There's mink tracks right there. Mink tracks, oh my god, look at all the stickers I got on me by walking along this darn thing. Oh, yeah. So, I wanna, there one down there? 
Okay. My buddy Eric said there's one down there. We're gonna go check that one out here quick. Yeah, definitely. There's a run coming under, under these trees here, going up under the rocks here. It most likely was an old beaver den, but muskrats, mink, otter, everything will use old dens to uh, live in throughout the fall and the winter. There's an old beaver lodge down here. Go check her out. Well, I pick out 4,000 of these cocklebirds off of me. Oh, they're poking me in the legs. Fence post. Oh, yeah. Old beaver lodge here, you guys, too. I don't see a whole lot. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, down there it's kind of creamy colored. The muskrats might be using this as well. But we're going to pick these off my legs and just continue on down here a little bit. See if we can find anything else that looks muskratty. Looks scratty. This pond is full of minnows, and I know at one point it was deep enough to sustain fish. There's an old beaver run right there. So there's an old den hole right here from a beaver. You can see where there's like a little raccoon trail coming out. And there's raccoon tracks right there. More raccoon tracks right there. So there was a trail that's running along here. Oh, yeah. There's some raccoon poop right there. So if a guy wanted to, this would be an ideal spot. Come over here, put, put a pocket set here, just put down some uh, coon cuffs along here, and you guys would, or a guy could hammer some raccoons. Dead mouse. Oh yeah, dead mouse right there. But I'm not zooming too much on it. Might do my video polls on YouTube for violence or something. Continue on the way down here. There's got to be some more. Got to be some more muskrat runs along here somewhere. I think I just stepped in one actually. There, gosh, this all. Gosh, there's some. Almost looks like mud from a beaver right here too. Doesn't smell like caster though. Oh yeah. You see the hole in? Sure. The oh yeah. Kind of there you go. Yep, there's another another run right there, you guys. You can see it's all milky colored there. Comes comes right up under here. You can see it's kind of collapsed right there. You can even see where, like right here, look at this, all the muskrats and stuff that have been even coming over this. They'll climb over and sit here, eat, do whatever they want to do. Um, yeah, so lakes like this, just any lake you can get permission to trap, or if it's public, walk along these shorelines, you guys, this is like a mecca of fur. I know you can catch mink, muskrats for sure, and raccoons, and possibly beaver. I don't see any fresh beaver chewings along here, but it's definitely a possibility. <clears throat> um, another spot, another like really good area to find them is like you got this tree right here tall bank got this tree right here all the traffic from all these critters you know well the mink and the raccoons anyway are going to be directed right under this tree somewhere be a really good spot for like a blind set like down here you could you could uh you know put a rock or a tree branch and just put a trap under the edge of the water a lot of those raccoons and mink will just go right around that right along the trap into the water how are you guys see that dead giveaway on a bomb rat run, you guys. Another bomb rat run. Right there, we're gonna go down, we're actually gonna go down and look at that one closely. Right there, dead giveaway. 110 Conneberry right there, get you some rats. Kinda cruise down here. And then, oh, look at that one, you guys. Like, there's right, Chucked under right there. It's a huge hole coming up under this bank where the rats have just been burrowing up in here. Man, you could hammer some serious muskrats out of you guys. So that's just, you know, kind of a, a good general bit of information about, you know, what you want to look for if you're trapping. Um, 
like I did mostly plan on doing the muskrat thing, but we found some stuff from raccoons for sure and definitely mink. Yeah, anyway, trap season's coming up. I'm it's coming up. I'm gonna do some stuff on beaver too. You know, guys, I love beaver trapping. Water's really low around here, they're really starting to work. I'm gonna go around and find some beaver lives I'm gonna trap this winter and show you some footage of those. So anyway, get ready for trapping season, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that. Peace.